The tip of the week today is going to be how do we add parametric text to a custom symbol? So here's what we do. The first thing you want to do is to create that symbol, right, in terms of the geometry that you want to use to define that, that symbol, right? So, you know, we use the line tool, circle tool, spline tool, whatever it is you want to use to create that particular graphic. Once you've done that, you then need to add the text. And when you add text to a symbol, you really need to think through how you want that text to grow in that symbol, meaning that if that text changes from um, you know, three letters to um, two letters or to four letters, do you want it to grow on center? Uh, do you want it to grow from the left edge out? And then do you want it to grow from the bottom left corner, from the middle, et cetera? And so you know, when we go into our text settings, we want to go down and we want to set where we want to, you know, if we want to do it from the left, then we want to grow from the, 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 the left and grow outwards. And then also I have an anchor point, so it grows from this point outwards as well. If we want to do on center, we want to make sure we set the center here, but also that the anchor point is set to center. Once we've created that symbol, however that's, that's made, the next thing you want to do is to select it. You want to go to your file menu, libraries and objects, and save selection as an object. At that point, it gets saved into a, um, or dialog comes up, and you select where you want to save that within your embedded library, or you can do it to an external library as well. After you've done that, you'll have a symbol in your object library. You can click and place that onto your plan. Now, that symbol currently is not intelligent, has no parameters. It's just whatever you selected as text and as um, 2D line information that you then created, right? So what you want to do is select that symbol and plan or that object and plan, go to file menu, go to libraries and objects and go open object. And again, this open object can be a, an object you created. It could also be an object you imported uh, from someplace or an object that even Archicad, um, it's standard Archicad library that you want to open and then create a duplicate of. Once you've, op once you've uh, opened this object, you're gonna see the parameters, much like I described earlier for the 3D side. But of course, now we're gonna define the 2D side. So in this case, we have two text elements that we want to define. We want to define the finish, the ceiling finish, and the ceiling height. So we create two new text parameters here uh, by clicking new. And then it'll, it'll add in, you know, my default variables, which we can we could change those. But I usually just use whatever default names they give it give me, unless there's a problem with it. And then you want to define the type, um, you know, uh, in terms of this being text, uh, and then also the name and then its default value. So the text, of course, we're going to pop up here and change that from a length option, which is the default, to a text option. Once we do that. Uh, we're then going to go and start to define um, where we want that te text or those parameters in the order here, right? So if we want them to be kind of, you know, lower, we can actually click on these little up down arrows here and we can move those down to wherever we want those and whatever order within our parameters. And then we want to copy. Uh, it, and then, as I mentioned, you can change those variable names. So if you, if it's easier for you to to track this by changing this to ceiling, and then underscore finish, so you can't you can't have a space, so you put underscore. Um, but if you want to change it to ceiling finish as a variable name, and then ceiling underscore height, just makes it easier for you. You can do that as well. Then, kind of similar to what we did with the height of the table, we're also going to set this to change um, the, the default. Uh, uh, text, right? So the default text would have been what we had put in here uh, when we created um, that symbol initially, right? Which was fin dot, right? And so that's what, you know, Archicad puts in here as a default with quotation marks here. So what we want to do is we want to take with the quotation marks, we're going to select all of that, and we want to replace it with ceiling underscore finish. So it looks like this. That way, that becomes then the variable that allows this parameter to then change that um, interactively. Uh, we're going to want to do, of course, the same thing with ceiling height. So we change the ceiling height to be um, uh, from that to, to uh, the variable name. Once we've done that, 
then it's a, you know, we save it and then we open up the object and then you'll see two options here, right? If you also don't want that stored environment here, um, which is a default in ArchiCAD to show, you can just click the little X button right up here. Like we select the um, uh, parameter. If you don't want it to show within the parameters, just click the little X here and then it will not show. Okay, it doesn't delete it, just basically um, uh, tells it not to show. And um, then, you know, that will not show. So you can see here, now these are the defaults. Now, if I change them, it starts to change my text above because now they're interactive. So that's really the steps to, to changing and, and editing that. So I'll talk to you next Monday, everybody. Thanks.